You're gonna have to understand this one, folks. Faster than your seatbelts tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think you're ready for this one. So yeah, the drama with Assassin's Creed has been wild, right? We got people from all walks of life coming together, talking about it. A lot of people are disappointed in this one. And a lot of people are also mad with the fact that why they're having a BBC Samurai in a Japanese setting. But, oh, but just wait! You just wait! The plot line has gotten a new upgrade. We have a plot twist, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Like this video if you think Woke is destroying video games. Dislike the video if you think Woke is good. Woke is good. But before you form an opinion, you need to hear this one out, okay? So Ubisoft appears to confirm that Assassin's Creed, Shadow's protagonist, Yasuke, and even Noe, you know, that chick, are part of the LGTV. Oh, shit. Yes, and you're not gonna believe this. This is why I said you're gonna have to believe this one. Fasten your seatbelts, clench your butt cheeks, stop rolling your fat doobies around, guys. Uh, I, I wish, I really wish I could say psych right now, but this is what they apparently said, allegedly. Next, they discuss romance options, ladies and gentlemen, and they say romantically, they will also attract and be attracted to different types of people through the pair Players will get to experience a multitude of relationships. Yeah, this is this is this is happening right now. Yeah, so players are gonna be immersed, truly immersed. So back then, you know, uh, first of all, they didn't have cameras back when this was happening, right? They're using, to understand this, right? Japanese game, or not Japanese game, but a game that's gonna be made in Japan using the Japanese setting, Japanese history, feudal Japan. Uh, and Yasuke, people are fighting uh, uh, with the fact that, hey, he was a real person. And a lot of people do believe he was a real person. Absolutely, he was there. But people are fighting with whether he was a retainer or a samurai okay forget about that part even the ai so this picture is not real but people are fighting with this picture saying that it's a real picture right it's a real picture okay let's believe that for a second it's an innocent picture that the ai came out with or maybe you believe that it's real okay whatever right so but still real or fake it's an innocent image right you can see uh, samurai there and he has a family quite beautiful but now they are looking at everybody using that as, using that as an argument that hey he's a black samurai with a family in Japan, they didn't like that one, and they are saying, bro, no, 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 family, we dismiss family real quick, it's a gay BC samurai with no family in Japan, that's going on right now, check this out, wait for the plot twist, roll it. Our boy got a DEI promotion, that's yeah. right, you thought we were celebrating a black samurai? No, 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 now, now we get to celebrate a gay black samurai. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of identity politics, an endless rabbit hole of nonsense, yeah. and here we But the boy, fat bomb bomb to the bumba club. We are, and it just gets dumber and dumber the more you look into it. And this is the latest example of that. And this is how you end up with 644,000 downvotes on your premier trailer, Assassin's Crazy. Creed Shadows. Holy shit, this is hilarious. <laughs> Oh Ubisoft God, appears to bro. confirm Assassin's Creed Shadow's protagonist, no Yasuke, way. and Nao are LGBTQ+. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Because you can only be so diverse until you need more diversity. Yeah. And yeah. this is how it always goes. Give, always. This is the literal definition. Of man, the disrespect of the Japanese culture here is absolutely insane. Now listen, man. White, if you're white, black, brown doesn't matter man you're a human i understand that right and you also understand the fact that hey like it, 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 there is like a good person or a bad person right can be from whatever race religion can be following whatever religion can be from whatever race right doesn't really matter it, it's either a good person or a bad human that's the way i see it that's the the, the way i was taught growing up right but but it's like they are literally trying to divide us all and a lot of people are basically saying right now that hey it's a japanese game why isn't there a japanese protagonist some are saying well you know what yasuke is a real person so whatever uh it's just a game bro i i i understand like all of these arguments don't get me wrong but now we're getting to the point where we're also mixing in this stuff as well like holy crap bro like yeah so first of all using japanese setting and uh, feudal japan storyline 
and, and historical historical accuracy. It's historical accurate. Historical accurate with Yasuke being a samurai. Sure, okay, whatever, right? So a lot of people were talking about this, but now it's like, hey, this man this man don't have any family, son. He gay boy, son. <laughs> so that's what they're doing. Like, talk about the disrespect of the, the, the Japanese culture, man. It's truly wild, but there is more. But wait, there is more. Give an inch, take a mile. Yeah. If you give these weirdo freaks anything, they will take everything. There is no, hey, let me just compromise. No, you can't compromise with social justice weirdos. You can't do it. You absolutely can't. So, I mean, right here, and shout out to that part place, and it says in a blog post on the company uh -oh. website, uh, the company declared that Nao and Yasuke's personalities also led them to have different relationships. Uh -oh. Different relationships. And rapports with other characters. And they don't always feel the same way about people, nor do they always feel the same way about them. Next, they discussed romance options. Mm -hmm. Romantically, they will also attract and be attracted to different types of people. Whoa! Though the pair, players, will get to experience yeah. a multitude of relationships. Yeah, immersion, ladies and gentlemen. Next-gen graphics, next-gen gameplay, and next-gen story for modern gaming day audience. <laughs> you remember that? You remember that? This is why my, my non-existing dog loves to bite people, guys. <laughs> What? The, f <laughs> the fact that we're having discussions like this, and it's I talked wild. about this the other day wild, when dude. it was discussed with, you know, the whole Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door and all the nonsense surrounding that. Yeah. The fact that we're Wait having these discussions around video games is absolutely insane. insane. It's just unbelievable how dumb all of this is, and it's going to continue to get dumber and dumber. Damn, this revelation boy. comes amid Ubisoft contracting with Dartmouth Associate Professor Sashi Schmidt Hori, who is an LGBTQ plus activist with her biography on the website reading, I am interested in investigating how gender, sexuality, corporeality, Ooh. and power are represented and negotiated in pre-17th century Japanese narratives and illustrations. Holy. My first... Oh my god, talk about the disrespect. See, this is what I was saying. This is exactly what I was saying, man. This is, uh, I, I, and, and I'm not offended. I'm not going to try to be fake offended, but even as somebody who is not Japanese, clearly, I'm not black. I'm, I'm a brown boy with a BBC, but I don't have, like, a black BBC, let's be real. Bruh. But, like, even then, I'm, I'm like, holy crap, what, what, is, what, what is going on, bro? What, what is, uh, what is going on? Yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. Book, Tales of Idolized Boys male male love in medieval japanese narratives what the hell these people what? are absolutely nuts which often often depicts romantic relationship between buddhist priests and adolescents boys hey yo what? what what the actual f man they are absolutely nuts um Let's see, in which, off, which often depict romantic relationships between Buddhist priests and adolescent boys. <clears throat> These tales challenge a host of normative and moral standards uh, we internalize, including such ideas as sexual orientation, transgenerational sex, and sexual agency. Bruh. This is a mental derangement that so many of these freaks have. They are obsessed with sexuality, with people that they should not be obsessed with sexuality over it is weird and terrifying and i've, I've said that dog like why just just simply put why it's just a game bruh like why and you know what even the ai just the other day innocently made this be yeah whether you want to believe this uh, being real historically accurate or not it's a beautiful image of uh, a samurai uh, or not a samurai or whatever right but, but yeah yasuke allegedly uh, that's what the AI came up with, with the family. So he has a family, apparently. That's what the AI thought. That's what they, 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 yeah. That's what they thought. But now they're saying, nah, bro, not a BBC samurai with a family in Japan. It's a like gay BBC samurai with no family in Japan. Holy crap, bro! What the actual f?
this before and I will say it again. Wait Social it. justice is a disease. And a disease wants to attack something healthy. They don't go. Social justice doesn't go after a weak franchise with a weak fan base. It goes after strong fan bases with a strong franchise because they can get more out of it. And yeah. the more people that they can indoctrinate or affect is better for them. That's why they go after things that are popular. Things that have a following. They don't want to build from the ground up. They want to hide. Yeah, they, they don't want to make their own games. They don't want to make their own stories, own stories from the uh, scratch. They want to uh, basically indoctrinate more and more people, and they want to just literally ruin franchises. Like how many franchises we have seen? <laughs> I got pictures lined up here. I yeah, like every time I see a meme, I just put it in because I'm like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to drop this one in the video. Like, look at that man! Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro. Like they, these suckers have literally <laughs> destroyed Tomb Raider. Now, uh, what, what what from what I'm hearing, this is still in Call of Duty, but and, and but still we have news that they're gonna be making the next Tomb Raider game for modern gaming audience they, they have said that right like the, 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 the this is the old Lara Croft design uh, uh, but apparently the new one is not gonna be like that okay so it's gonna be nerfed uh, her bunda is gonna be nerfed the chest is gonna be a lot more flat and this is the Call of Duty latest version the uh, latest depiction of Lara Croft completely flat chest a little bit of uh, arms a stronger jawline and uh, yeah bro like uh, I don't even know if she has a ponytail in this one or not probably not a ponytail there guys <laughs> Yeah, no ponytail. Mm -mm. We absolutely hate the ponytails. So, yeah, man, every franchise is getting destroyed like that, bro. Like, I don't even know what's going on, bro. Hijack things that are already established. And they want to infect that with their garbage and nonsense because they know that people purely hate their ideology. So they have to trick people into, into liking this. it. Yeah. And, of course... Even if you run 90% of people off, 90% of 10 million people, that's still good numbers for you yeah. to bring into your cult. Uh, th this is why you're seeing a lot of like the the today's kids. Uh, whenever you ask, uh, whenever you ask them, hey, what what's a woman? They're like, uh, uh, I don't know, I don't know. You act, you see literally their frontal lobe breaking down in real time. They just don't even know what's a woman anymore, a and it's because of this. I, I don't even blame today's kids because they're literally. You know, changing history, actively trying to change history, actively trying to change biology. Biology don't mean anything nowadays. It's, uh, yeah, so uh, it was in movies, now it's coming in games because they realize that games is basically where everybody's at all the time. We have destroyed Hollywood! <laughs> Now it's time to destroy video games as well, and it's also in time to indoctrin indoctrinate the masses because old folks do play games. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm 27. I'm getting old as well. Uh, but 27 is not still not considered like the old old. What I mean by old is like 50 year folks. No offense. I know some 50 year olds folks that also do watch my videos, and it's beautiful though. Like you guys got a lot of wisdom, and I always hear the the, the comments. For, uh, most amount of people that are always uh, yeah these are the types of comments i get like people that say they're gonna boycott the game and not gonna buy they are older folks 40 year, 40 years old 30 years old 50 years old these are the folks that are like okay enough of this bs i'm not gonna buy i'm gonna boycott i'm gonna keep where my, uh, my money is my money where my mouth is all that right and, and yeah uh, respect respect but you guys gotta also understand that you, you and i are not the the actual target audience for this one you know what's going on i know what's going on we all know what's going on and i should not be saying we all know uh, most people don't know what's going on and, and when i say most i mean to say like the majority what i mean by majority is like the younger folks right like the teenagers today's kids right they just want to play video games and they want to chill nothing wrong with that and, and they do not need to be exposed to all this bull squash they're gonna find out when their their age is right and it's uh but 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 see like they are the ones if you ask them the question of hey well what's a woman what's a woman they're gonna be breaking down in front of you and might even get angry if you tell them there are only like uh, one and two I cannot say more than that because guys we're on YouTube I guess you understand that but you can fill in the blanks like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders I gotta Bruh. do it listen man we different times guys different times
you know you know the right answer i know the right answer but but it'd be what it'd be but wait for this one following bullshit so it doesn't matter if 90 percent of 10 million hate it all they care about is the 10 percent that they can keep and indoctrinate that's what it's all about that's what social justice is it's a disease and once that disease spreads and kills and destroys it moves on to something else every single time happens every, time, every yeah. single time He's and so right. this is not He's going right. to get any better. This is only going to get worse. This game, I think, is going to be one of the worst selling games in Assassin's Creed franchise history. Uh, I don't know about that one. I, I think it can be, and I hope it is. But listen, man, gamers, most of the gamers uh, don't even care. They, they're, they're like, okay, trailer looks good. I'm going to buy it, even if the game sucks, bro. Like, it happens every time. Boycotts, and the, I, I know some of you guys don't like it. I, and I've, I always see you guys responding, and I love that because sometimes, of course, like, I'm not saying I'm always right. I, 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 hope, I hope this time I'm wrong as well. But, but, but see, like, generally speaking, like, if a game is popular, like Call of Duty, boycotts don't work, man. Like... Because, because people that are ready to boycott are the older folks, like 50 years old, 40 years old, 30 years old, and nobody like under 20 is boycotting, son. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Don't matter, don't care, don't matter. Game trailer looks good? Oh, hell, I'm buying it. That's that's basically where the gamer's mentality are, right? And you only live once there. That's also get thrown into the mix as well. But but, but yeah, most of most of the gamers that are going to be on, on this is young teenagers, guys. I don't know the uh, young teenagers are the audience is what I'm saying they are the ones that makes the bulk of the audience and bulk of the sales exact numbers I know it's been a very popular franchise in the past but this is going to be a bad run for them in my opinion and it's only going to get worse more nonsense is coming it's not yeah and, and I'm gonna show you this video as well and with Ubisoft of course their stock is plummeting so a lot of people know uh, their track record in terms of like their bad games so, yeah, I do think that's also going to be a factor of this game not s selling well, but we'll see because right now we're hearing pre-orders are really, really high. I have covered that in the last video, so this is exactly why I'm saying boycotts don't work necessarily, at least in video games, but this time it might. And one of the comments that I got from you guys as well, which is absolutely right, the guy said that, hey, boycotts may or may not work, and the reason it's not working is because gamers doesn't have a backbone and gamers wouldn't get together as one. If they do, then we're going to have, yeah, hell driver situation but even then you guys know like we <laughs> seconds forgot about it the game is still banned in 177 countries bro, <laughs> and nobody's talking about it now like nobody's fighting for it uh, gamers fought once and won because everybody came together and won but now we have another problem which nobody's talking about because we have a new <laughs> new damn thing to talk about every single week ladies and gentlemen so i understand gamers are gamers had enough and we all have different problems in our lives like is this the type of trash that we gotta fight 24 7 i totally understand that this is not the only thing right i get that but the guy also did mention that yeah boycotts whether they work or not uh awareness is good yep this is awareness we're i'm um, making this video to very uh to spread awareness and get you guys up to speed that's good number two people that are gonna choose to boycott that's gonna hurt their wallets which is a, a big fact absolutely absolutely so if, whether you choose to boycott or not that's up to you but if you're choosing to boycott or, or and not buy into this crap yeah you're definitely hurting their wallets and that's still a w information is but check this even grums pointed out that the source of all of the yasuke historical facts it comes largely from a book that's called African Samurai, the true story of Yasuke, a legendary okay. black warrior in feudal Japan. But mm -hmm. what's interesting is people were quick to point out that this book that is considered the basis of knowledge when it comes to someone like Yasuke was derived from a diary which has, and I'm not kidding you, only two sentences about Yasuke. That's it. That's all we have. Yeah, here we have a book that is 480 pages long with the historical facts being what? two sentences long. You tell me how someone can write an almost 500 page book about two sentences. That's insane. And this is the basis of the legendary black samurai, apparently. Which is pretty much just fiction that's being disguised as non-fiction instead. And this is why it's so important to push back and fight against this information. They try telling you that Yasuke saved Japan or Cleopatra was black, yet we know that none of yeah. this is true. And these websites like IGN and, and if I'm not mistaken, like Egypt uh, also did sue them, right? Because they really tried to dunk on their history with Cleopatra. Uh, Is that how you say my bad if I butchered it? But but yeah, correct me if I'm wrong because I heard that somewhere. And which have also pushed the story that Yasuke is some legendary historical figure is being pushed as fact upon an impressionable audience. 
And they're hoping that most of you won't read further into things and just accept it as fact. Now when you take a website as disingenuous as IGN and you get their grubby claws all over most of the journalism (laughs) websites out there, what do you think will happen? It'll be a storm of misinformation disguised in the clothes of virtue signaling, a lie that's sold as truth, and if you deny or reject it, you'll be blacklisted and attacked. Mm, yeah. No company should own anything. Not only does it eliminate competition, but it allows the ones at the top to shape entire narratives with ease. And the thought of IGN of all people owning pretty much everyone outside of places like GameSpot, I guess, is not a good sign. It means the art of misinformation and fabricated new truths will not only become the norm, but the only thing available to the general public. Yeah. If you thought gaming journalism was bad now, just wait until this is all finalized and finished. You're about to see- Apparently IGN bought like another company, so they're kind of merging into one right now. It, it's like the uh, controlling your opposition and control and, and literally having that, well, what's the word? Uh be the biggest in the market so people only have to go to your news per se and whatever you say is gospel whatever you say is the 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 final truth if that makes sense because everybody else don't have the same legs as you right everybody else don't have the same pull as you but guys you're not gonna believe this story here check out this video on the screen yeah apparently activision actually gave him that treatment as well Dr. Disrespect, Nick Merckx, we have an update on that story as well. Check out this video on the screen. On the left, we got Call of Duty leaks, ladies and gentlemen. The upcoming Call of Duty leaks. And uh, and we also have a trailer teaser video in this one as well. Check it out and I'll see you right there.